When it's extra hot out, your pool needs extra help to stay sanitized. High temperatures and prolonged sun exposure can cause algae blooms, evaporation, and rapid changes in your water chemistry. But there are a few things that you can do to keep things balanced. Here are six ways to protect your pool in the hot weather. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University, and before we get into this video, if you're new to taking care of a pool and you want more help, be sure to check out our pool care handbook. It's an easy to follow manual made specifically for new pool owners, and you can grab your copy at swimu.com book. Number one is you wanna test your water two to three times a week. Testing once a week is usually enough, but when the weather gets really hot, your water chemistry can fluctuate quickly. So you wanna test your pool water twice or even three times a week so you'll know when your levels start to get out of range. Chlorine is the most affected by heat and sunlight, and that's because it breaks down in direct UV rays. So you wanna pay attention to dips in chlorine. And if you're using your pool more often, because, well, it's hot outside, then keep in mind that extra swim time can impact your water chemistry too. Number two is you wanna boost your chlorine. As temperatures rise, algae starts to grow. And as algae starts to grow, your chlorine gets more used up. Add that to the fact that your chlorine is breaking down more quickly in the sun, so you'll likely see dips in chlorine levels when it's hot outside. Your free chlorine levels should be between one and three parts per million, with three parts per million really being ideal. Obviously, keep on top of your regular chlorine dosing, but consider shocking your pool once a week to help keep your chlorine active and working in the water. If your free chlorine levels drop too low, shock your water with a chlorine-based shock, like a cal hypo shock, a dichlor shock, or even liquid chlorine, because this will help boost your free chlorine levels and kill any contaminants or algae in the water. Now, if your free chlorine levels are fine, you can use a non-chlorine shock, which is also called an oxidizer. This will break down any used up chlorine in your pool. Now, oxidizer is also good to use if you notice that your total chlorine levels are high and there's a strong chlorine smell in your water. Shock can also be helpful for saltwater pools when it's hot outside. Manually boosting your chlorine will help prevent your saltwater generator from overworking. So you can use an oxidizer, liquid chlorine, or dichlor shock. Now, just keep in mind that dichlor shock specifically contains CYA or cyanuric acid. Finally, if you do start to notice algae, you'll wanna add a double or a triple dose of chlorine shock to your water to kill it. Check out our other video all about killing algae if you need more help. Number three is you keep your CYA levels up. Cyanuric acid, also known as CYA or chlorine stabilizer, helps protect your chlorine from breaking down in the sunlight. Your CYA should be between 30 and 50 parts per million. Chlorine tablets and dichlorochlorine granules already contain CYA. But if your CYA levels are low, or if you're using chlorine that doesn't contain CYA, you can consider supplementing your water with a little bit of chlorine stabilizer. You wanna add just enough to bring your CYA levels into range. Just don't overdo it, since the only way to bring down high CYA is by partially draining and refilling your pool. The magic ratio between CYA and chlorine is 7.5%. So if your CYA is 40 parts per million, your chlorine should be at three parts per million. Cyanuric acid is especially important for saltwater pools. Your saltwater generator ends up working more to maintain your chlorine levels during high sunlight exposure. And there's naturally no CYA in saltwater pools. So keeping your CYA levels up matters a lot. And many saltwater pool owners find that keeping their CYA a bit higher between 60 and 80 parts per million helps prevent your saltwater generator from working so hard, especially when there's a lot of chlorine loss happening. Number four is you wanna remove algae spores. Algae loves hot weather, so you'd be sure that you're staying on top of your pool cleaning routine. In fact, you might wanna clean your pool surfaces a bit more often in high heat. Brush your pool walls and your floor more than once a week and vacuum your pool more often to help remove any algae spores. And this is where a robotic pool cleaner really comes in handy. And consider running it more often when it's extra hot outside. Now you can check out our other video on robotic pool cleaners if you want more information. Number five is increase your pump's runtime. This is another way to help prevent algae. When water is moving, algae has a harder time clinging to surfaces and growing in your pool. Running your pump also helps circulate your chemicals and filter out any contaminants and debris. Now, if you normally run your pump eight hours a day, consider adding an extra hour or two when it's extra hot outside. And if it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, you'll wanna run it even more often than that. 
Finally, if you have a variable speed pump, consider running it 24 seven on low speed during the hottest times of the year. Number six is you can use a solar cover to prevent evaporation. Your pool can lose up to a half inch of water each day just from evaporation. And as your water evaporates, the chemicals evaporate with it. And that's where solar pool covers come in handy. They can help reduce evaporation by up to 95%. So keep your pool cover when it's not in use and consider covering it at night as well. If you have cooler nights with lower humidity, the temperature difference between your pool and the surrounding air can accelerate overnight evaporation. Now just be sure to follow all the other steps before using a solar cover. You don't wanna accidentally create an incubator for algae. Finally, if you need more help, be sure to check out our pool care handbook at swimu.com book. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it, thanks again and happy swimming.